Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 44, and this is war number 9. We've got three wars after this one. And we're going up against an alliance that I am not going to... Okay, you know what? Desconhecidos. Alright, there. That was my try. If it said something bad, I do not know. All right, let's see who they have banned. First of all, oh, 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 they've banned three really strong attackers. So that's going to be interesting to see who they have on defense because Hulk, Silk, and Titania answer so many problems. Oh boy, this, this, this is going to be interesting. All right, let's take a look. Let's see uh, what they got planned, first of all. Okay, so... Mm. So I've got Scorpion. I don't believe he gets an armor up, so just need a good Scorpion counter here. Uh, I can bring in uh, Hulkling for that. Then we've got Warlock. He does get an armor up. And uh, Hulkling could do that fight as well. No real need to bring Gallen in, but Gallen can do that Warlock. But I'm thinking Hulkling for both of these. All right. Oh boy, Jessica Jones. This is a pain. This is a real pain. Um, I don't believe she gets an armor up, but She's just an annoying um, defender. And I think... I'm trying to think. I, I kind of want to bring in... Um, I'll have to bring in somebody for her, but I, I kind of want to bring in Nick Fury. But what is so annoying about her is that Unstoppable. And had they not ban silk i would have thought of doing that or even titania however we may have another option we shall see maybe i'll bring in she hulk probably not um but we'll see uh i have to think about that one um but nick fury could do it so and especially since uh aq is uh not going to be on I usually use Nick Fury in um, AQ, so I can now bring him here. And this uh, guillotine, uh, Hulkling can do that fight as well. All right, so that leaves these guys here. Um, hmm. That Korg... See, no energy. I could bring Hercules. Let's see who else we got here. We've got Doom that's en route. So we're just going to pass that by. We've got Gore. One eye open. I don't know. That seems like a Claire fight. The only annoying thing would be the um, one eye open, got to knock him down. So parry and heavy is not going to be the best. But yeah, that, that could be a clear fight. All right. Let's see who else we got here. So Photon. Okay. That could also be a, a Nick Fury fight. Yeah, Nick Fury could do that one too. We'll see. And uh, this one... Uh, I would have said Titania, but... Uh, Spider-Man 2099 might be a, a good option for that. 
Um, let's see, Bishop. Oh boy, gonna be unblockable, eh? When the attacker triggers a buff, okay. So, I probably, well, see, I, I would have thought to bring uh, Lady Deathstrike, but she's on defense, so I wouldn't be able to do that. Um, but Iron Man, OG Iron Man, is now a good counter to Bishop. However, that Power Snack can be a pain. So yeah, he might be a problem on that node. We'll, we'll see how we handle that. And then of course you got the uh, hazard shift nodes here. But I think, I think I'm gonna, um, I think I might take this Korg Yeah, I just might do that. And I did learn why I kept losing um, my power. It's this um, uh, burden of might. So I go in with someone that relies on a lot of buffs then I'll just keep on um, getting power drained. And if I dash and I get that dex, get the, um, uh, 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 oh, I forgot what it was called now. Um, precision is it? Uh, and then it goes away. I lose my power. So that could be a problem, but generally you just want to bring somebody that can do, um, physical or non energy damage they can handle Korg. So um, I might just bring Hercules because honestly, he doesn't really rely on his um, specials. So I can build up and take him down that way. So I think that's what I'm, I'm gonna do. So uh, Hercules, Hulkling and somebody for yeah somebody for that uh Jessica Jones so Hulkling Hercules maybe um hmm maybe Claire I don't know Claire might be a, a good one I'll have to Look into Jessica Jones and see how to stop some of that um, unstoppable and, and all that other stuff she gets. Uh, see if Claire can handle that. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, we're going in with Hulkling, Valkyrie, and Hercules. Now, I'm actually looking forward to the fight that I'm going to use Valkyrie for. I'm actually looking forward to that fight. Um, it'll be the first time I'm actually using Valkyrie against uh, Jessica Jones, all right? Uh, now, spoiler alert, there were no big input issues this war. So you won't hear me complain about any uh, of those issues that I've been experiencing earlier in the season. season. Now, um, I did have in one fight uh, some issues with my parry, you know, uh, and I think a lot of people have experienced that where the first parries don't seem to, to work, but after you like hit them or something like that, then you can parry just fine. But it seems like the initial ones just don't want to work properly. Um, sometimes, and sometimes they do. All right, but that was the only problem. Everything else went smooth. All right, so this first fight is against Scorpion. He does not benefit from this node. However, he is a very annoying defender. All right, so 
you saw my my rationale uh, earlier, and I would not want to fight this guy without someone who was either immune to poison or could shrug it off. Now, you saw that I uh, used the uh, invulnerability boost. Uh, I can get invulnerability boosts, okay? And we're almost to the end of the season now. And I know how shenanigans happen in war. So I decided to just go ahead and pop that one. If I don't need it, great. If I do need it, great, <laughs> you know? So I'm just going in, okay? There we go. Notice how I was able to dex out uh, of that special one. And here we go. And I was trying to get to the unblockable, but I didn't have enough of those uh, cosmic charges. And then see that? He caught me with that. Ah, oh, I hate that spider sense. He caught me with that. And uh, But I had the indestructible, so it didn't matter. And then I got to my special three, and I'm like, you know what? That's fine. I don't need the special two. We can finish him with a special three. Now, his special two does more damage than the special three if I can do it just right. If I can go unblockable and fire that special two off, that does a crazy amount of damage. So that's what I was trying to do there, but didn't really need it for that fight. All right. Now, this next fight was a little bit of a change because Warlock does get an armor up and he does benefit from the um, node here. Now, the one thing that I always forget and it always annoys me is that Hulkling is not immune to power lock. So I get power locked on this node for a certain amount of time. I forget how long it lasts, all right? Um, not power lock, but a special lock. And I can wait it out. Like right here, I have a special three, right? You see the red icon? I can wait this out. And then I can just hit my special three right here. Okay, so look at this, look at this, watch this. It's out, bam, I can hit the special three right there. But I was zoned in and I had already decided not to worry about the special lock, just go in hard and uh, finish him off, all right? So look at that, it don't matter if he blocks, we're still gonna hurt him, bam. Okay, so I could have ended the fight earlier with that special three. Maybe I will do that the next time, try to pay attention to that uh, countdown timer and just wait it out and fire my specials that way. But either way works, okay? Hulkling is such a beast. I almost took Hulkling up over Hercules uh, to rank five. He was almost my first cosmic rank five, all right? Now, this fight is the fight that I was actually the most excited for because I... Don't remember fighting Jessica Jones with Valkyrie before. And I haven't really used Valkyrie a lot, but she is a great counter for Jessica Jones. I don't know if you would say she's the best counter, but she is an excellent counter for her. Now, because this fight is not a long fight, there are certain techniques that you can use uh, one of the ones that I saw that was very easy, but it's really for a longish fight, is to basically fight all the way up to a 31 combo. Then invert your combo and then fight and go all the way back down. What that does is it gives you your max amount of pierce, which is three, and your max amount of bulwarks, okay? So you'll see me do that here. All right, once I get to 11, bam, I got a pierce buff. I don't have to worry about her unstoppable at this point, okay? But I'm still going, all right? Here we go, bam, I got two, all right? Now, I'm, I'm having fun, and she caught me with that parry right there, but I'm still indestructible. We're good, but then she catches me at the end. If I didn't have the indestructible, that might have been over with, okay? So here we go, and I invert it. Okay, and now I'm going back down. No heavy attacks. All right, and I'm like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and fire that special three before something else happens. And I love her special three. Look at her, just beautiful. Look at that, oh yeah. Bam! All 
all right? So now it's inverted and I'm hitting, I'm hitting. I'm getting some ball works, but honestly, look at her health. She going down. And it don't matter if she has a uh, unstoppable. She going down. Look at this. Over with. If I hadn't messed up and got parried, because I think I, I hesitated a little bit on there. Um, but the next time, if I have to fight her, it's going to be nice and smooth. This was my first try at fighting Jessica Jones um, uh, with uh, Valkyrie. And it went smooth. Yeah. Except for that parry and combo. Uh, but anyway, I still have the um, invulnerability up. And uh, this fight, pretty standard. Started off with a heavy attack to put the Digi Cloak on cooldown, and then just go in. Now the glancing is annoying, but fortunately she only gets one armor up. Okay, and here we go, and counter that with a heavy. Digi Cloak is back on cooldown. All right, I'm trying to get her to stop and block, but she didn't want to. All right, here we go. I'm unblockable. Look at that. Look at that damage. Mm. And I'm glad she didn't glance at all. Oh, that glancing is so annoying. All right, so her Digi Cloak is about to come back, but she's not going to have a chance. I like Hulkling. And I like the fact that the relics are now working because that would have probably been another round if not for that relic. That is nice, all right? So now, this is the final fight of the war for me, okay? Now, uh, I wasn't even thinking about this, but uh, that's what the officers are for, and my leader, he was like, tag uh, Siler there uh, to put on the um, WAG's uh, pre-fight which he did right there. See the yellow icon? Uh, so I tagged him. Uh, he had actually tagged me and said, let me know when you're ready uh, and I'll put that on you. Now that fight, uh, pre-fight, and we're gonna look at it right here uh, so you can see what it does and why it's so good for Korg. All right, see that right there, guidance boost. So basically Korg is a hero, right? And I think, is he metal also? I forget, but in any case, when I parry, he tried to shrug it off. It gets replaced with a passive stun. Okay, so you parry, stun. He tries to sh uh, shrug it off. He gets a passive one. So basically, you can parry Korg as if he was not um, awakened. And I was going to just brute force it with Hercules, to be honest with you. You know, do a medium and then light, 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 light. Medium, light, 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 all that good stuff. Because I'm not scared of this cork. all right? So see this? Look at that. I tried to parry here, and I, I was having trouble. Finally, I got a parry. But for some reason, that first parry just didn't want to work. All right, so you see here? Just, just parrying him. And then this happens, and I'm like, what is going on? I, I evade those all the time, okay? So I'm hitting them with hev heavy so that I can uh, build up. And like I said, I'm not really worried about this cord. Okay. So now I want to bait this out. I could push him to a special too. But something about me. If I fail, I want to try it again. And I got hit again. And I'm like, what is going on? Why am I not able to evade that special one? Is my timing just off? So something that when I was learning how to do it, anytime I got hit by the special one, I had to evade the special one before the fight was over. All right. So, yep, I'm getting hit all that. That's good. That's fine. But look at this. Bam, bam, bam. Finally. I don't know what it was. Maybe the timing was a, a slightly different or off, but... All I knew is that before the fight was over, I needed to evade. Because like I said, I wasn't scared of him. We were in no danger. This was not a close fight. All right. 
So I was like, okay, I need to see, I need to be able to evade this. And I think I did slightly change my timing to evade that. All right, so that's it for my participation in this war. And we'll be back and we'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So we have a little bit of a winning streak going on. Let's see if we can keep that going. It'd be really nice. Uh, we did pretty well, as you can see here. Shout out to the MVPs. All right. Well, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, hit the like button anyway. Anyway, take care. And you all have a blessed day.